these have nowhere to actually screw onto any of these little uh, screw holes. It's just kind of empty space underneath here. That's because that actually attaches to the back case here. So the next step is to seat it back into that case. So we're gonna pick this whole piece up directly and just set it straight down in there. Um, the piece that you wanna watch to line up here is the uh, bay that the hard drive is gonna sit on is gonna line up with this piece over here on that side. So let's lift this up and set it in here. Like I said, we wanted to reattach that piece on the back there before we did this, because getting this seated once you have it in uh, this case is a really enormous pain in the ass. Um, I made the mistake of doing that the first time I did it, um, and it took me a good 15 or 20 minutes of fighting with this plastic to actually get it in there. Uh, so the next thing we want to do now is now that we've got somewhere for these screws to bite on, uh, we can start putting in the uh, screws back onto the case. So we'll do there. Uh, you can actually, before you even put that one in, before you put it back in here, you can do this one over here because that just bites into the hard drive bay. Um, but we're going to do all of the other ones now also. So we'll do that there. Sometimes the magnetic screwdriver is a little annoying. seated in there by hand first. There we go. Okay. And likewise for all of those other screws on there. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, we've got that all screwed back on now. So the next thing we're going to do is reseat the network adapters. Um, so that's going to go like this. We're going to grab these two pieces up again, keeping them in the unit. And uh, so the Bluetooth is going to go right up here on this piece. Just sits right in there on those tabs. Now this one, uh, the biggest trick to this again other than not bumping that black wire out is that this needs to come up underneath the uh, that ribbon that we seated the first time remember or that we seated a minute ago Get that wire out of there so that just sits right on top of the ribbon and then this tab locks in there and it sits on top of these little pieces um, and you can tell you've got it when the screw holes line up. That's what she said. And when it's on those little tabs. Okay, so then we're going to uh, re-screw um, all of that back on. Uh, so there's one screw up here. And then those two there. Um, this doesn't ever line up with a screw. Um, another one is going to come down from above uh, when the case when we screw things back on. So you'll never see a screw in that slot there. Um, all right, so I'm going to put those screws back on, um, and well, before I do that, I can show you. Let's reconnect this little ribbon here. So this just pushes in like that. There. Slide it in nice and securely and then flip that tab back down to lock it in place. Takes a little bit of wrangling sometimes. There it is. And that just clicks down, and then that should be secure on there. You can tug on it a little bit, make sure it's in all the way, uh, make sure it's nice and even uh, all the way around there. Good, all right. And there we are, got this uh, reseated and screwed back in. So the next thing we're going to do is reconnect both the power supply and the Blu-ray player. Um, and we're almost done here. So uh, let's do the power supply first. 
So add that over here. And that's this unit, remember. Um, what we want to do back here is line those holes there up with uh, the prongs there. That actually connects the power to the board. So that just sort of sits on there and plugs right in. You should feel it drop into place once you've got it. There it is. Okay. So then that is going to plug back in there. Like so. Okay. And this is going to plug in here. Like so. And then before we screw everything back in, I'll just show you, we'll reseat this. Here's the Blu-ray player. And the trick with this one is you need to reseat that ribbon first. Um, so this is going to happen in exactly the same way that we did the other one. Um, the metal contacts, I mean, it, it bends itself right there, so it's pretty obvious uh, how it needs to be oriented. Uh, but the contacts will plug in so that they're touching the metal. Um, so this is going to require both of my hands to do this, uh, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, once this is all reseated, we're going to screw all of this back on. And uh, the biggest thing to make sure of here is that this connection here, you get the, uh, the ground screw with the, the washer still on it on that one. And that goes on that connector right there. Um, that's important. Um, oh yeah, make sure that's all the way in there too. Uh, okay, so we'll do that, and then uh, that'll be the last step when we put the case back on. Okay, we've got all of this back on now. Uh, this, remember, just sits on there. There's no screws that hold this thing on. Uh, just make sure you get that connector back there. And then again, get this up and see how that ribbon is plugged in there. And uh, you'll know you've got this down. It sort of sits on these little metal pegs there. And uh, it kind of just sits in place there. You can feel that it's locked in, though. So make sure, it's important, this is connected. This is connected firmly. This is connected firmly. And that ground is on there. Um, if any of these are not well seated, especially that ground, uh, you could fry your system. Uh, these probably will just make things not work. Um, but yeah, that ground not being on there right um, can actually break stuff. So now we're ready to put the case back on, which is exciting. So we have, here's our top case. Um, what we're going to want to line up here are these metal contacts right there with uh, the power buttons here. So those metal contacts line up with those buttons, the power and eject, and that'll just sit right on here. Like that. Okay. And again, you'll know when you've got it. It takes a little bit of finagling sometimes, and it'll just pop into place. Okay, and once you've done that, once it's all lined up and firmly on there, um, then we're going to take all those long screws, remember that we took off right at the very beginning, and put them there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and then that shorter one where the S is right there. So I'm going to screw all that back on, and then we will put in the hard drive and uh, just test it out and see if we succeeded. All right, got it all put back together. Let's see what happens. And there you go. That's the reflow process.